fluorescent compacts. So I decided to just um, put a 2 kV MOT on. I may pop one or two, see what happens. The one in the case has done 20,000 hours, so not bad for Philips. No fancy mucking around, just plug and play. Into the left, MOT is doing the work, so we'll see what happens. Okay, tape walling. It's glowing. I just didn't last that long. Is that all? 20 amps? But still 20 amps going through there. I think the MOT will be heating up quick. Lamp number 3. Oh, the MOT starts smoke as well. I'll just turn it off quickly. Don't want to burn it out. Didn't like it. Yuck, that stinks. Blah. Tap door away. Blah. I've rewired it now for 480 volts, so I'll see what happens. And I killed it. This is one I haven't popped yet, so 480. See what happens. Oh, that must be the revival fuse inside that popped it straight away. Give the Philips another shot, which the microwave transformer couldn't do. Oh, cooked it on. That popped. No, 15 watt, 240 volt lamp. Old one. Most innards of these CFL lamps completely cooked. <laughs>